photo of kids sitting in the aisle of a moving school bus has a lot of parents concerned and upset right now. The school district says the kids chose to sit in the aisle instead of a seat. Our Marianne Martinez live in Waxahachie right now with what one parent says really happened. Well, Kaylee, no one is disputing that the bus was moving while there were kids sitting in the aisle. However, the school district says there were uh, enough seats for everybody and the kids chose to sit in the aisle. But one parent uh, whose child took the photo says there were not enough seats and they were forced to sit in the aisle. This is the photo causing anger and concern among parents in Waxahachie. Mm -mm. No. Not happening at all. That's a no. It's totally unacceptable. That's that shouldn't even be allowed. A dad released it after his daughter told him kids were sitting in the aisle on Monday and Tuesday. The 11th grader says every seat on her bus was taken. The Waxahachie ISD spokeswoman says the bus has enough seats for 77 kids, and there were only 73 kids on board. The driver, um, their responsibility is to make sure that all kids are safely in, in seats, and that wasn't noticed this time. So that, that's something that we have definitely counseled our all of our bus drivers on, not just this particular bus driver. That bus driver should be on suspended until they go through their another evaluation to see how they're driving. The school district says the bus does have a camera on board and the video confirms what they say. The video was not released to us. The district says it can't release it because children's faces are visible. At no point should we ever um, go over that maximum capacity. We always stick to our safety standards um, and you know, sorry that it didn't happen in this case. Now, the district would not tell us what, if any, punishment this bus driver has been subjected to, but they are telling us tonight that that district has been modified, there are, or that uh, route, rather, has been modified. There are now two buses uh, on that route. Now, again, they say there was no overcrowding to begin with, but they've done it just to make sure that all everyone is comfortable and that there is nothing like this ever happening again. Reporting live from Waxahachie, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.